species of clownfish that will host with about 10 different species of anemones. And so the anemones aren't losing their ability to sting, but the fish actually have a unique way that they don't get stung by the anemone. So they have a mucus coating that's much thicker than other related fish, and that allows them to go inside the anemone and not get stung. No one really knows for sure how they develop it and stay resistant to the anemones, but there's some thoughts on this. One of the thoughts is acclimatizing to the anemone, so the fish will go in there, rub on it, and get some of the anemone's mucus, and that mucus is what prevents the anemones from stinging each other of the same species. This is one of your symbiotic relationships. So this one is the type that benefits both the fish and the anemone. So the fish is bringing the anemone lots of food, it's keeping it clean, and the anemone is giving the fish a home that's protected. We've got two different types of clownfish in the exhibit. Uh, one of them is the more traditional Nemo type uh, that you'll recognize from the movie. And then we've also got a pink skunk. So we kind of wanted to display how different they can look. So not everybody looks like Nemo who's a clownfish. They can look really different. You'll also notice if you look at the exhibit, they kind of behave a little differently. So the pink skunks are usually in larger groups and they're a little bit more skittish. And so they'll group up really fast when they hear something they don't like or they see something they don't like. Whereas the Ocellaris, the ones that look like Nemo, they're more out everywhere all the time. All uh, clownfish are born male and then they will turn into a female when there's not a dominant female in the group. So usually you have a hierarchy, so it's like a tiny clownfish family. So you've got a dominant female at the top and then the dominant male and then you've got all the subordinate males under that. So if she dies or goes away, the largest male will turn into a female and then the next the highest male in the hierarchy will become the dominant male.